the Victoria Falls on the Zambian border, 400 miles west of Salisbury, stands the statue of Livingstone. He discovered the falls 110 years ago. What were Ian Smith's thoughts as he gazed at the famous view, far away from the troubled capital? Smith was here to lay the foundation stone of the Casino Hotel, the first of its kind in Rhodesia. In normal times, the Victoria Falls area is a tourist's mecca. So when the political crisis is solved, a prosperous future, predicted the visitor, should be enjoyed by the hotel. It's unlikely that when David Livingstone, missionary as well as explorer, saw the Victoria Falls, he expected there would one day be a casino there. Mrs. Smith was presented with a brooch. Rhodesia's elder statesman, Sir Roy Walensky, with his wife, was relaxing at his Salisbury home when Pathy News cameraman dropped in for some informal pictures. The grandchildren were having a great time. Sir Roy was not to be drawn into comment on the crisis, nor was either Sir Humphrey or Lady Gibbs at Government House. Though 63 and not in robust health, he remains firm and calm.